Well, I did a little bit of digging into the DF-26. It's kind of scary. Uh, it's only been fired one time. It was fired on land, and it blew up another missile in the air. But they've never used it to shoot down another uh, ship or plane or anything of that nature. It's really kind of weird. There's not a lot of specs on it. Um, the range is 4,500 kilometers, so it can strike Guam if it needed to. And they're positioned in uh, the north east part of China, northeastern part of China. They're talking about bringing some of these to the Spratly Islands. There's talk about it. I don't know if I don't. I don't think you really need to because the range that these things cover. Unless you want to hit somebody even faster, but the speed of these things is classified. There's nothing. I don't even know what type of nuke it carries. I know how big the nuke is. The nuke is 1,800 pounds. So 108,000 or 1,800 pounds. Sorry. So that's a pretty small nuke. So that's a tactical nuke. So that's only designed for one and one thing only. Just to hit a small area like a, like a carrier group. It's a carrier killer. What type of bomb is this? This has got to be one hell of a bomb, dude. Because that, that doesn't seem like a lot of weight to me, does it? 1,800 pounds? It is what it is. It's a tactical nuke, so... And it travels at hypersonic speeds, so you can't shoot it down. This is the thing that will strike our carriers. That we would shoot our missiles at, and we would try to shoot it down. We might be able to hit one or two of these things. But if they fired a fleet of if they fired like two or three of these at us, oh, fuck, it'd be over. Way worse than like the Brahmos, you know what I mean? Because the Brahmos, the Brahmos is only, it's not, ta it's not nuclear. It's just a tactical missile, and it's, it's only meant for one thing only, taking out ships. That's what the Brahmos is designed to do. It can take out planes, bigger planes in the air, or it can take out ships, but it's mainly designed to take out ships, the Brahmos, just like the uh, Zircon, the dreaded Zircon. It's meant to take out ships. So they're coming in at Mach 4. So America's got their anti ship missiles too. So then, you know, coming in at Mach 3 or 3.5. So we got our shit too. So. Don't don't kid yourself. America's got some shit over there. So, would they ever launch one of these DF twenty sixes at one of our carriers, just like they said they were going to? A, you know, a few months back, they're like, "Oh yeah, if we sunk two of your carriers, you just get, roll over and die." I don't think so. We all know what happened in Pearl Harbor, and I've said this on previous videos. That's true. So, you know, if it was me, I would take my destroyers. I would take my biggest, meanest destroyer, and I would park it right in Taiwan's borders, and I'd say, "Fuck you, China." Taiwan's a free nation. You don't own this area of the world, and this is it's freedom of navigation whether you like it or not. So you don't own these islands. These all these are is a bunch of islands that you created. Man-made islands. You created sandboxes in the middle of the ocean. Whoop-de-doo, and you put a landing strip on it and a fucking missile site. Militarizing these islands. We all knew what you were doing all along. Those are your ancient islands, your ancient disputed areas. Well, guess what? It also belongs to Vietnam and the Philippines. Reality check. Y'all own the area. That's why you can't just build islands like this and expect the whole world to say, okay, well, yeah, these are, okay, well, yeah, these are real. This is, this is non-disputable. This is China's area. No, it's not China's area. I, I wouldn't even adhere to your freaking 12, mile, 12 miles right off your islands, dude. I would sail my destroyers. I'd take it 11 miles just to piss you off. You look at I'm not the president. I'd show you Xi Jinping. I'd teach you a lesson over there. Don't fuck with the U.S. And I dare you. I dare you to send a DF-26. Yeah, it may be a good missile and all, Xi Jinping. And I'll give you that. You got a damn good missile there. The specs, I don't know really much about it. But you know what? If you ever did one of that, a pinprick strike on one of our carrier groups and sunk one of our carrier groups is one. See, you only got two. We got many. We can sacrifice a few of our ships and we'll still move on. We'll still fight on, dude. Oh, big time. All you do is just piss off the fucking eagle and pull out one of his feathers.
It's still gonna fucking attack you, dude. That's how big and powerful we are. Don't fuck with the USA, Xi Jinping. I don't like Xi Jinping. I'm not a fan. Dude, he kills people for just being Christians. He burns churches down, beheads Christians. Yeah, what a good garrison. Yeah, yeah, way to go. There used to be somebody on my channel that used to live in China. He probably, they probably beheaded him or killed him or something like that. I don't know. God never knows whatever happened to his ass. Maybe he just dropped off of my channel. They probably killed him, though. He's probably Christian. They probably killed his ass, so I wouldn't be surprised. This is China we're talking about. So hopefully he didn't die. I hope not. But anyway, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to move on uh, and let you guys go here. So, but there you go. There is uh, the DF-26. So the carrier killer. Not, now, there's one thing I didn't tell you. A, there's a DF-22A and a TF-22B. There's two different types of missiles. One is conventional tipped, only meant to take out one ship. And the other one is nuclear. There's two of these different variants of missiles. One's nuclear, one's non-nuclear. It just depends on how many ships they're planning on taking out when they do give that order to fire. And God help us all if they ever do give that order, U.S. sailors. Because you know what? Whatever ships you didn't nuke in the process are going to be firing upon you. America's going to be firing upon you. You're going to have Minuteman 3s raining down on you. I, w I wouldn't do that if I were you. Not with Trump. You know, he just he just sent off an ICBM just today at a fucking Minuteman 3, you know, that splash in the Pacific Ocean. So tread lightly, China, because these uh, ICBMs can come right to your DF-26 or your palace, Xi Jinping, your little ancient city. Oh, yeah, you'll have fucking these things raining down on you, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. So tread lightly, China. Don't even think about fucking with the U.S., dude. Like I said, you strike the U.S., we hit you with a baseball bat. All right, I love you all.